All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash. Once in double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Peace and salutations always to the hopeful elect, you know, doing this work throughout the four corners of the earth and during this chastisement and uh, during these afflictions in this day and age. You know, I got uh, two of the brothers here with me. You know, I got the brother Kratazah and the brother Izaria. All right, now, um, you know, just real quick, man, impromptu wa or walk and talk. You know, um, just showing the relevancy of the Old Testament. You know, because you hear it is, you have these modern day Christians and a lot of these weirdos out here. They they, they say, oh, well, uh, the Old Testament, those were the Bible days, or it's not relevant, to, or something something to that matter. To that matter, you know, and uh, just to make a, a, a sound statement, you know that it, those were the old the, uh, the Bible days, but these are the Bible days, so nothing has changed. Yeah, what established the Bible days, quote unquote, being done away with? Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible still exists; it's still the number one seller. Uh, so. That has to be well established. You know, all it is is just a different age trying to create their own righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. And that's the spirit, man, because um, it tells us in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, it tells us that uh, um, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Yep. You know, and when even when you go into these certain high holy days that the Most High have prescribed for the nation of Israel, you know, what. Well, and even during the book of Joshua, you no, know, because through the uh, through the Spirit, we went through the book of Joshua, and when they when they had those twelve stones, that was what a memorial, some, yeah. something to be remembered. All right, so the same with these words that the Heavenly Father had had written down by the Holy Prophets. You know, uh, if any any of y'all brothers have something, y'all can bring it out. Yeah, you got a precept. Also, I just want to make a comment. Nobody's found the Ark of the Covenant. Yes. Jeremiah yeah. hid it, but they haven't found it. You know what I'm saying? That's a good point. They haven't found it. Therefore, the Bible days still exist. The Bible still exists. Now, if nobody was no longer using the Bible, then you can say that. But the Bible is it's a record of things that happen, things that are happening, and things that are going to happen. Mm. So, therefore... All hasn't been fulfilled, therefore, we're still in the Bible days. Matter of fact, just by you saying those words and I already kind of referenced it, I'm going to get that. Um, you, you can bring what you want to bring out, brother. I'm going to just pull it up for edification yeah. of the screen. This is uh, Romans 15 and 4. Uh, it says, for whatsoever yeah. things were written aforetime <laughs> were written for our learning. Yeah, whatever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. You know, a perfect example, it says what? It says that um, the things that were written, oh, uh, um, were written for those that shall afterward live ungodly, roughly paraphrasing. You know, when you see see uh, how these different different uh, uh, wicked people were, I see how our forefathers were. You know, they we were supposed to learn from that. These are very relevant things to know. You know, how can we just put it away and act like it's a thing of naught, man? You know, and then really, the scripture that I had up initially, which Lord willing we'll get in the book of St. John, it says um, that people, they don't uh, um, conform to the to the light that their deeds may be reproved. Yeah. You know, in, the, in, in these different passages and um, that are written, you know, hey, they, they reprove a lot of people in the spirit and they don't want to hear it, man. You know, oh, oh that's a uh, uh, perfect example. You know, uh, eating pork. You know, here it is. It, it, we have a whole dietary law saying that, hey, you can't eat this. But what, what did they try to do? Just like uh, that pastor did some years ago that we dealt with. You know, saying, oh, Acts 10 says you can, you know, when he says he's seen, he's seen um, the sheep coming down with all manner of four-footed beasts coming down, and they say, "Oh, oh, look! Well, God said made you made it clean, you know. Now they're saying you can eat pork, you know." That, that, that counteracts. <coughs> um, what's that? First Corinthians, the sixth chapter. It might be a third chapter. One of them <laughs> about it. This our body being a temple. Okay. You know, and this is this is not our body. It's basically we're borrowing it. You know what I'm saying? But it's a temple nonetheless. So why would the Lord just turn around and say, go ahead and defile yourself. You good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's why our people die in the way that they dying now. Yeah. And knowing the scriptures <laughs> say the Lord don't change, man. You know, that's in the Old Testament. But we, we, we're going to bring out some precepts to prove that 
even more that the, the Old Testament is right. We, we've made some good points, but we can bring out some precepts with it. Yeah, All right, so. Go on, go on. It's just, uh, <clears throat> some more juice on that. Start, like, at the top. Yeah, he's, I, I got... yeah this is uh, Romans 15 and 1. It says, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not ought to please ourselves. Right. Let every one of us please his neighbor for good edification. Uh -huh. uh, for even Hamashiach pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproach uh, thee fell upon me. Or so, fell on me. So now that's so you good. That's through the spirit. Now I didn't particularly get it for that moment, but like it said, as it is written, where was it written at? In the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, it was kind of. written in the Old Testament. You know, there was multiple situations like that as it was written. Is it not written? Uh, hey, how, did it yeah. not say that it would come to pass, right. you know? Hey, that yeah, that yeah. it would be fulfilled. All of those is referencing to the Old Testament. Exactly, and that's a perfect, that's that's, that's beautiful because um, when, I, when I did this lesson earlier, I actually ran out of time and I didn't, um, I don't. I don't want to post it. I didn't think it would be edifying enough. So, um, but hey, just like the brother said, you know, as it is written, you know, as it is said, get, did not Yahweh Shai when he was tempted of Satan, did not he did he did he not say thou shalt not tempt the Lord as it is written? You know, did he not reference scriptures? Oh, did, he, he, did not <laughs> Satan reference scriptures? You yeah. know, coming from the Old Testament. <laughs> you know, here it is. You you still have it written in, in the, <laughs> as it is written. Right. You know. It, it, it has the commandments. It, it reiterates the commandments in the book of Romans. You know, and then you you just just listen to the book of Acts. If you're not if you read it or, or or listen to the book of Acts, that's how it, the spirit the, uh, the spirit came about with this lesson. Listening to it, it's like God damn. It's continually referencing the Old Testament. Why is that relevant? Why would they keep bringing it up? Why would why why would Peter and John? Why would they keep? Who, who, what are they teaching them? What are they teaching the people? <laughs> They're teaching them the law, statutes, and commandments. The will of the Heavenly Father. Alright? Yes, sir. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, God. that we through patience and comfort are written aforetime, before our time, man. We're written for our learning. Go ahead. Uh, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture mm -hmm. might have hope. Might have hope, man. So I'm going to get the scripture based off of what the brother, uh, brother mentioned. And Matthew, here in Matthew 24, and verse 32, okay? And it says, Now learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves. You know that summer is nigh. So likewise, when you see all these things, know that it is near. All right, and when it, what, what are these things it's talking about? The prophecies that were written. As it says in Isaiah, before these things spring forth, I tell you of them. You know, and these, uh, and, and like, as, as we mentioned, most of these uh, prophecies are written in the Old Testament. You know, you got, you still got the Gog and the Magog, uh, uh, Ezekiel 37. Okay, you still got Isaiah, the 47th chapter. You know, it's, 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 it's we can go on uh, the book of Obadiah. Yeah. But it goes on and on and on. You know, and these, all these things haven't come to pass yet. You know, and it says that in uh, Matthew, the fifth chapter, not one jot, not one tittle shall be diminished to all, uh, uh, to all be fulfilled. You know, and everything hasn't been fulfilled. We're still living, we're still here in America. We're still the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the princes walking upon the earth. Still war. We're still, yeah, you know, there's, there's things that haven't come to pass and the most high is not a man that he should lie, you know. And it says that in the Old Testament, but people say that my Lord would not. You know, come on, come on, man. You know, it says, um, verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. Heaven, this is the point. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So the words of the Most High have, from the beginning have been relevant all the way into the kingdom that they're going to be relevant. You know, not one thing is going to diminish from the law. Why would... Why would the same, um, why would the same law such as the commandments be put in our inward parts from the beginning, <laughs> you know, in the kingdom? You know, the, it says the Most High is going to establish it in our hearts, man. I would have mentioned that in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Exactly. About the New Covenant. Beautiful point. Beautiful okay. point. You know? That's uh, why the, the Lord see. gave us 
The Lord gave us exactly what we need <laughs> to give diligence to make our calling the election short. People just want to do extra. You know, there's no reason for you to do extra. The Lord just, look, we, we grew up. Most of us grew up in, in a Christian household, so we had the Bible. Some of us grew up as Roman Catholics, so we they had the Apocrypha. But now all of us have those extra 14 books, and that's all that we need. You know what I'm saying? Book of Gazer, a book of Prophet Gad, and you don't need all of that, man. The Lord gave you one book that has all of that in there, the 1611. Sure. That's through the Spirit, man. All right? Yeah. The fact that he gave you a book that has all of that within there, that's through the Spirit, man. Wow. Now, this is uh, the book of 2 Peter 3 and 7. It says, but the heaven and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Con, con. Con. So it says, um, matter of fact, I'll, I'll just pull it all the way up because I just typed in that word. So it says, uh, hey, because no, I'm, I'm going to read up, actually, to you know, to get the meat off the bone. All right. This is uh, 2 Peter 3 and verse verse 3 it says knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffer walking after their own lust and saying where is the promise of his coming for say and that where's that promise established that <laughs> you know it was established in the old testament man promise to give us a land flowing with milk and honey man all right that's written in i mean it, of course it's written in the old i mean the new testament but there was established in the old testament all right it says for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they are willingly ignorant of, that the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. You know, just it, it, there was a different judgment at that time. But guess what? It says the same word. You know, the same word that, that uh, when, the, when the earth was flooded, man. That's the same word. It's just that the, the, the judgment has changed. Yep. The, cl the cleansing agent has changed. Yep. All right? So, hey, it's, it's, so, it's so many. We, we could be here for an hour doing this, man. You know, just to bring out all the precepts that prove that the Old Testament is very relevant. All right? <laughs> you know, case in point, where it says that uh, I should send, I should send my son, whom, who should be a, 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 a savior, unto the nation. No one uh, in Isaiah where it says uh, the son Emmanuel, okay, which is who? <laughs> I was shy, you know, it, which was which was um, more. And he was manifested more in the New Testament, you know, if we want to get technical about it. You no, know, but this is this is things that was written before time. This was written before the New Testament um, came about, man. You know, I'm gonna get, so I'm, uh, I want to finish this, and then we can uh, we can cut it off because we made pretty good points. So uh, back in Matthew 24 and uh, 33, it says, no, 30, uh, 36, it says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Now here it is. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So why would it reference Noah? Why, why would it compare it to Noah? Because this is a very relevant statement. This is a very relevant passage. Because the same things are the same things are going on in this earth. All right? For as in the days of Noah, they were they uh for as for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So nothing has changed, man. And, and every idle word that men speak against the Old Testament, should, they should give account in the day of judgment, man. You know, nothing has changed. M many are going to be condemned yeah. for, for speaking these words, man. I was just thinking the same thing. It goes to show you that people are going to do the same thing up until salvation. They're going to be talking stuff. Yeah. You know, doing what they want to do, continuing to be scoffers. After everything that we said will come to pass through Yahweh by Shem Shai, they'll see it and witness it, but the fact that they had that spirit of deep sleep upon them, or whatever spirit the Lord put upon them, whether it was to scoff, to mock, you know, just to just to not believe, basically. Mm -hmm. 
you know they're gonna have that spirit up, up, up until the time is it, is we get out of here, Lord willing, of the hopefully let you know. Uh, and uh, most high said that he will laugh at their calamity, he will mock on their fear. Exactly. Yep. That's it. Hey, you know, so hey, with that being said, Lord willing, this is an edifying video. You know, um, hey, with that being said, we give all praise once and praise on the glory once again to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash. You know, and until the next time, we say Shalom. Shalom.